Good morning, gorgeous souls. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And uh, today I really felt called to speak about uh, the seasons that we can experience in life. And sometimes when we're going through a hard time, uh, we can have multiple events that kind of compound and make things feel really challenging uh, in our life. I know for myself, I've certainly been moving through uh, the season of winter over the last couple of years. And sometimes these seasons can last uh, longer, shorter periods of time. It might be a two-month season. Uh, It might be a one-week season. Uh, But it's really important to, um, and I love using the seasons of the year as an analogy for this as well, because it really helps us to understand what is the blessings, what is the gifts of what we're actually currently going through. Because sometimes we have a tendency to prejudge. Uh, We want to reject where we're actually at. We're not accepting where we're at. And we kind of um, cause ourselves to actually stay in that situation or that circumstance for longer, um, but just through our own resistance to actually being in that particular season. Uh, as most of us, you know, probably could agree, like we, most of us, uh, certainly for myself, I prefer to be in the seasons of spring or summer, even autumn. Uh, but winter tends to be, you know, a pretty cold time, a pretty alone time. We tend to hibernate a lot more. Uh, we tend to shut down or withdraw our energy a lot more but it is an absolute period uh, good morning great to have you guys on uh, it is an absolute winter if you think about what winter does it is a time to rest it is a time to nourish it is a time to reflect and it's a time to get really clear on what seeds are you actually uh, planting for spring? What is it that you're wanting to create moving forward? And often winter gives us such stark contrast of what it is that we do want to experience as well. So uh, in terms of, and particularly for women, this is also another important aspect to really recognize within ourselves during our monthly cycle. Uh, if you've done anything on um, you know, our hormonal changes and, and the body changes in the cycle, you will know that we actually move through those four seasons within every single month as well so sometimes we can have obviously bigger seasons within our life sometimes this is when uh, you know if our parents are having a hard time or perhaps in their um, later years where their health may be failing them uh, we can have um, grief uh, with lots of different things going on there uh, with so many challenges we might have financial challenges uh, we might be lacking in the energy or going through burnout any of these things and particularly um, with relationships as well, uh, you know, there can be certain seasons within relationships. Uh, some seasons feel really great, you feel really connected, you feel really together, and other seasons can feel a little bit more alone. So it's just really recognizing, not prejudging the season that you're actually in, but if you are going through winter, really take time. Winter is absolutely a time to reflect, a time to really nourish your body, a time to rest, uh, and a time to get really, really clear on what it is that you're wanting to create for yourself moving forward so that when things start to shift and change and obviously you know with our thoughts with our beliefs with our emotional energy we can assist that process and we can set really really clear intentions of what it is that we're wanting to uh, create for ourselves moving forward and I am super super excited uh, to be sharing something uh, later on in the week uh, of something that has really been pivotal for me in terms of really helping me to step in plant uh, Uh, some new seeds of intention and to really create an amazing spring moving forward an amazing summer moving forward uh, which summer obviously is the harvest Uh, that's where we're really uh, uh, enjoying life it's a lot of play it's a lot of fun a lot of sunshine a lot of joy a lot of connection all of those things as well so really taking some time if you are going through a hard time really take that time to nourish yourself to love yourself to also accept and sometimes that can feel challenging right Um, but to really accept and be with yourself in this particular season and ask yourself what is great about this that can be a really tricky question to ask but when you really sit with it I promise you it will help you to find the blessings and the gifts in any situation that you're going through and any time that we're experiencing something that we don't want to experience in our life maybe maybe it is our own failing health uh, loss of a loved one relationship breakdown financial issues all of those things it helps to really clarify what it is that we do want but where we get stuck is when we are focused hyper focused on what is going wrong what is happening all of those things we allow ourselves to feel those things and also to draw that line in the sand to really get clear what do I want instead 
and how might I be able to start stepping forward with that and that's what I'm excited to share uh, later on this week uh, it's uh, more than likely I'll release this on Saturday uh, I'll be doing a, an amazing talk at the Wagga Wheel Women's uh, Wellbeing Day as well uh, which will be fantastic uh, but also really helping to share how people can create a new vision for themselves moving forward and how they can really support themselves uh, in up leveling in planting those new seeds in setting new intentions and really moving forward confidently to be able to create the life of their dreams as well so if that's uh, something that uh, piques your interest uh, I can't wait to share all the details with you on Saturday and um, there is a 24 hour bonus with that as well so uh, if you're looking to really create a new life for yourself moving forward if you are done with being in winter and perhaps your winter has gone for far longer than uh, you know maybe 18 months or, or two years then this can be so powerful good morning Rayoni great to have you on Del. Um it can be so powerful to draw that line in that sense to really get clear on your vision and to be able to have the how and the strategy on how to actually step through and actually do this for yourself as well so wishing you an amazing day sending you lots and lots of love from my heart to yours particularly if you are going through a hard time and uh, also feel free if you are experiencing uh, health issues feeling exhausted feeling tired uh, and if you're a woman I will drop the link below to also join my thrive overcoming burnout group as well because understanding this information is so important to help our bodies feel better feel more energized and truly improve our life as well so have an amazing rest of your day guys lots of love